In this lesson, we're going to talk about regulatory bundles, which are the bane of anyone international to the US existence using Go High Level. But hey, we've all got to live with it. So let's dive into the screen share and find out what I'm talking about. So what this means is if you've decided to use either the LC system or Twilio, you're going to need to submit a bundle to buy an international number. Now, I'm sure that the LC system, um, you know, they're, they're making ground on being able to automate various processes around this to make it easier. But essentially what they're doing is that they're building an interface into the Twilio API. So there's still human beings that get involved in the approval process, checking things to make sure that they're all above board. So you're not changing anything by going from one system to another, other than if you're really big in the SaaS world, giving users the ability to work within a single system, being your sub account, rather than having to do anything in the Twilio side or your fulfillment VA teams, whatever teams you do have running on customer success side of things, they don't have to get involved with getting the regulatory approvals either the business owner using your sub account could do it themselves. So that in and of itself is really the only benefit as of today, which is the 4th of January, 2023. So uh, we talked about choosing which system we want to go with. I'm currently on the Twilio side of things. Now look, every time you create a sub account, it'll create a sub account over in Twilio. Each sub account has its own sub account identification number. Okay. And so you're able to do a one way sync. So when we create a new sub account, this name will be created as a sub account over in Twilio. So then you're able to optionally use something that consumes uh, credits. Uh, and as you can see from using phone number validation, Essentially what this is doing is to keep the number clean um, before uh, an SMS or a call is made, it verifies that it's a real number and it's not gonna waste uh, call uh, airtime credits and it's not gonna diminish the reputation of the phone number to end up as some sort of spam number. So if customers are using your sub account and they're doing a lot of uh, online lead generation and uh, they're getting spammed with fake numbers, using the number validation service one is something that you can talk about that is extremely valuable to say that not only do you do all the nurturing and automation and everything, you actually do a validation to make sure that the numbers exist before the call is made. And of course, validation fails, you can report on that and take some sort of action. But enough about number validation because that is pretty boring, but again, all leads to more value for your customer. So, uh, one other thing that I wanted to talk about was regulatory appliance in this lesson. So that's what we're gonna do. So with bundles, if you need to create a bundle, when you do that in Twilio, if you're international, you'd log into Twilio like so, right? We log into Twilio, then you would have a look at all your sub accounts. So all of your sub accounts will appear here under sub accounts. And my account is suspended because I haven't topped up the, the thing. So let's just go back to my one. Now, First thing you want to make sure you do is under phone numbers, you'll see here, and you can do this from any sub account, is you're looking at regulatory compliance. So now we've got bundles addresses. Now creating a bundle will create an address, so don't worry about creating an address separate to a bundle. But in bundles, you go here, and let's say I want to buy a number for a sub account who is in Australia. So they say, okay, I'm in Australia, I need an Australian number, great. So you can create a reg bundle, and this process is now doable from within high level if you're on the LC system. So it's, it's essentially the same 
user experience, the same questions that they're asking. It's just, you don't have to leave high level. So you choose the right uh, type of phone number and it's a business and you've got to have the right documentation. And once you've got all that information, you upload the information and give it a name and you run through this process. Then it goes into an approval process and it'll say, you know, this is pending approval, etc., etc. Once you've got a successful regulatory compliance approval step done, and I do go into detail uh, in this on my YouTube channel as a separate lesson, if you need to go into a lot more detail. But then, it, so what it does is it'll say, okay, this is now approved. And so then when you're in a sub account and you want to buy a number for that country, it'll be available to you. So just to give you an understanding of what that would look like without one done, if we wanted to go add a number and we choose Australia, which requires regulatory compliance, uh, these are not mobile numbers, right? So to, in order to buy a mobile number, you, you know, need to be able to have regulatory compliance, right? So once you've done the regulatory compliance and you've got it all up and running, you will see I can buy a mobile number just like we're seeing here. And we click save and it says, oh, you got to do a regulatory bundle. And so, you know, again, if you've already done it on the Twilio side, that won't show up. It'll be there and off you go. Then it drops your international number into your phone number section and then you can assign it to whichever user you want. Now, this process is cumbersome. It is made easier with the LC system, again, because you have to go out one system to the other. But there you go. That's how we do reg compliance for SMS and Twilio using high level in international countries outside of the US. All right, that's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one.